Haribo, and welcome to lesson 18 of basic Madongan instruction. Today I'm going to go over a new tala, which can be used in any place where keherva is used. This is kind of a, an intermediate rhythm that's played in the, uh, in the fast portion of a kirtan. And uh, it's a little bit different from what we've done before. In this new tala, what we do is kind of syncopate things. Uh, rather than playing on the beat, it's going to be a little bit offbeat. Uh, so we'll go into it, how, how it, uh, well, I'll, I'll describe what it sounds like, and then we'll go into it step by step. So the mantra for today is De Dha Ge Ti Dha Ti Ka Ke Ti Ka. All right, I'll say that one more time. De Dha Ge Ti Dha Ti Ka Ke Ti Ka. I'm saying it a little bit in rhythm, but let's actually go into it. What does it sound like? De Dha Ge Ti Dha Ti Ka Ke Ti Ka. Okay. Uh, let's let's go over that step by step. But before I go over step by step, I'll just show you what it sounds like in Kirtan. It's sort of like that. Okay, so let's go over it now. De dha ge ti dha. So, de is again the closed on the small side and open on the big side. Daya and baya. De. Okay? So, de dha. All it is is an alternation on the daya. De dha. So, de dha ge ti dha. So, there's three hits here on the baya. So there's three hits in succession and then there's one at the end. One at a time. So it's it's a little bit syncopated here, as I said, because it's not played on the beat. So this first part takes up four beats. And notice when I when I struck the drum here to indicate the downbeat, that's not when I was saying the beat that I'm playing. So it's de da ge ti da. So if that confuses you, don't worry about it too much. Try to follow along what I'm playing. De da ge ti da. All right, we'll just play that first half. De da ge ti da. De da ge ti da. The second half is ti ka ke ti ka. So it's ti, and then ka is ke and ta together. Ti ka ke ti ka. So it's not that difficult. The only difficult part is maintaining this rhythm. So we'll play it slowly again. Ti ka ke ti ka. Okay, so it's ti ka ke ti ka. First part again is de da ge ti da. Second part is ti ka ke ti ka. So now let's play the whole mantra in a cycle. All right, I'll start off very slowly and then we'll go a little bit faster and then a little bit faster. Okay. Hey, ta, ke, ti, ta, ti, ka, ke, 
Now a little faster. Now, let me show you where this month is applied because after playing it all this time, you may not, it may not sound like one of the usual mantras, and it's not. It's actually not played all that often in kirtan, but uh, whenever it is played in kirtan, it's used sparingly, but in the right place just to make it sound really nice. So I'll I'll give you an example of how you transition from a straight fast beat into this syncopated uh, eight beat rhythm. I'll sing a little bit of uh, uh, Hare Krishna Mahamantra with this so that you can get an idea of how it's used in a kirtan. And I'm not going to play uh, the Hare Krishna Mantra the entire time. Well, actually, you know what? Let's do a different mantra. Let's do uh, the Nishinga Dev prayer. And in this case, what I'll do is I'm only going to play the second half of the long verse, which starts with Tavakara Kamala. I'll start with the second half of that and show you how you can transition between fast and this beat. Keshava Dhrita To what all those little transitions and all those other mantras were, but that's an application where you can use it. It's used as a like an intensifier. Uh, rather than playing this straight the entire time, you would use this mantra to intensify certain peak peak areas or peak times in the kirtan. So that's what I wanted to uh, introduce: how to intensify the kirtan at certain points. Now, uh, this is a mantra that is it's quite basic. Okay. However, this there are many much more complicated variations of this, but uh, those actually they don't build exactly right on top of this mantra. I'll show you a couple of examples. There's, there's both Gurvani and Lagubani uh, uh, variations of this tala, but the basic one is Veda, Vedita.
in any kind of fast portion of the kirtan, but in half of it to kind of intensify. So think of the transition as uh, sort of a delay. You're doing... So some sort of uh, Kaherva beat, and then you kind of wait and then go into this... Uh, in, in, into this variation, this syncopated variation. So it's like... Okay, so this is, a, this is a simplistic variation and I encourage you to experiment on this and try to find something a little bit nicer to match with whatever particular beat you're playing at the time but the very basic one you can always use if you're uh, if you're just starting out so I encourage you to practice this okay so hopefully you will find a use for this in your kirtans it's not used for very long periods of time but try to use it uh, in just the right place, and you'll find it becomes much more exciting. Thank you very much for your attention. Hare Krishna.